four of my uh, platformer tutorial series and in the last video we went over making changing the levels and in this video we're gonna make lava so or spikes we can do spikes so if i make another one like this i can make a red spike like that uh, if you click there, you can click pointed, and it will make a pointed, and you can delete both corners, and a drop to a nice spike, and then you can go copy, paste, like that, and if you shift and click both of them, they both get highlighted, and you can go to back layer, and they're like, kind of like these little mad spikes, okay, now, there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, what you can do, it doesn't actually matter if you have touching ground or touching the lava. I think touching color black is better. Uh, I'm not doing that, as you can see. Um, but what you can say is you can say if touching color red, um, then you can restart and go here. This won't actually work because red is the ground. So you'd have to change all of these to color uh, to the black color, or you can just put this right after the change Y, and that works just as well. Um, you can do either one, and the other thing you can do is you can go to this ground and take this and this and put it in a new sprite. Um, that is possible. I was doing that when I was getting ready for this video. I did that and I was practicing doing that, but it really isn't very good. It, it, it kind of just, you have to create a, a new costume on each one. Like if I made it a, made a ground level that didn't have any um, lava in it, I would have to add a new costume to that lava, a blank costume, and that's kind of a pain. So I'm actually just going to do it this way, and I'm going to take out all these touching ground blocks, and I'm going to put in touching color black like that and just wait go to right here And there, in all places where it says touching ground, you can just take them out and put in the black color. And now, the problem with this is that you have to make every single ground color black and every single um, lava color this color red. Or whatever you'd want, but you'd have to change all these colors then. So that kind of stinks, but it's not the end of the world. So, I can now go. I'm moving. And I can go through these different levels that we created in the last video. And we die when we touch the spike. But you may notice, I can't quite make it up over the spike. So how do I fix that? Well, what you can do is you can go to the ground and add something else. You can add like a little purple or whatever color you want, jump pad that will launch you over the um, thing, right? So if we try that, I stopped the program to so not have to go through all these levels again. And all that it's doing is letting this be air, and it's like doing a ditch, kind of. And that's kind of, if you did this color, that's what's going to happen. If you do not change all these black color ones, then... You're actually just going to go on top of this, and you're just going to, it's going to act like it's ground. But since I did this way, it acts like it's nothing. And to fix that, we're just going to go an if statement here. And it's going to be if touching color. If you click that, you can click this color. And say, if touching color that, set y though the 15 or something and now it acts as it as bouncy so it works really nicely and if we die oopsies then we just can go on here and bounce our way over this spike like that nice that's about it for this video
<clears throat> in the next video, I'll probably change the player and add a special effect to the player. Uh, that's part five. And in part six, I'll probably do new things like uh, not only the arrow keys, but the WHD keys as well, and mobile controls. And I might even add a couple of uh, reset buttons and next level and last level buttons. Uh, so, yeah. See you then.